Hello my loves, it is your girl Tina here and today I've got a nail art tutorial for you guys. I thought it'd be cool to compile several ways that you can do different marble nail art. So this is perfect for beginners, I'm going to explain step by step how you can create these designs. Let's start off with the easiest marble design. I mean they're all easy but this one is super easy. First I'm going to apply a gel colour. So I'm using this milky white polish, then cure that under the nail lamp. Then I'm going to use these three gel colors to create the marble effect. I'm just going to pop a little bit of each on my tile. Then I'm going to use an orange wood stick to just slightly swirl the colors together. You can use like a toothpick or whatever you want. Next, I'm going to grab my gel brush. This one is a square shape, but honestly, if you have an oval one, that will work as well. And I'm going to use my brush to scoop the gel colors up so that there's this like small blob on the end of my brush. You can do that a couple of times depending on how big your nail is. Then I'm just going to place and kind of guide that gel color down my nail. I'm kind of going back and forth, almost like in a zigzag motion. I picked up some more gel and I'm just kind of just guiding and swirling that gel around. Now you can also move and drag the existing gel on your nail by using like the corner or the side of your brush. So if you want to just blend out the edges a little bit, you can kind of like tap and blend. And if there's too much of one color or not enough of one, you can just use the brush to swirl more into the design. There's pretty much like no right or wrong with this, so you can have fun with it and every time you do a nail it will be different, it will be unique, you know what I mean? So with this technique you can use any colours that you want, let me show you a different variation. So in this case I'm going to use two colours only, so this like magenta, pinkish shade and white and I pop them on my palette just in stripes and then again I'm using my stick to just swirl them together. Then I'm going to just gently and slowly place the color on the nail, kind of guiding it and just letting it fall onto the nail plate. I'll cure that and then I'll add some gold glitter just to, just to make it a little bit more fancy, you know what I mean? So I'm just using a liner brush and just drawing thin lines of gold glitter along that marble effect we've done. You could also add the gold glitter into the pink and white mixture but for me I like to just control where the gold is going so I like to add it after. But yeah once I'm done I'll just seal it with top coat and ta-da! Isn't she beautiful? Okay so Say you want to cover the whole nail, you can use the same technique, this time I'm using four different colours and I'm just kind of striping it on my palette. Do the same thing, swirl the colours around using my orange wood stick, scoop the colours up and then just place it onto the nail, just slowly guiding it zigzag motions back and forth just really randomly and then I'll repeat that again until most of the nail is covered then I'll use the corner of my brush to just guide the gel to cover the edge of the nail as well as around the cuticle and whilst I'm at it I'll just swirl the colors around to make it a little bit more marbly this design is giving me like coffee vibes for some reason like I just need a cup of coffee right now a latte would be good I'm liking how that is looking, I'll cure and then top coat. Okay, let me show you another technique. I'm using these three colors, I like the retro color combination. And I'm painting each color on 
across the nail, kind of like where the French tip would start. And I'm using my thin liner brush to do this. The lines don't have to be perfect. I just want to get the gel color on there and kind of keep each line separate. So I'll do that until I reach the free edge and I'll clean off my brush. Then I'm going to swipe through the gel and kind of just pull that gel upwards and then clean my brush and then go back the other way. So I'm dragging my brush through the gel and it's creating this really cool shape. Now what's important is you clean your brush after each swipe, okay guys? So you don't muddle the colors together. Then I'm gonna grab a clean brush and then just wipe away where the smile line is to create this cool, retro, funky French tip. Now, for those of you who like something a little bit more realistic looking in terms of like realistic marble designs, I'm gonna show you how to create it with some alcohol ink. So first you need to have a base color or at least base coat down. And then remember to cure that. This is going to leave a little bit of like an oily or a sticky layer, which is going to help when we apply the alcohol ink on top. So this is what the alcohol inks look like. I'm using these three colors here. Now these stain, so you need to make sure you don't get it on your skin or clothes. So I'm just gonna drop the first color on randomly on the nail. And you can see when it hits the nail, it starts to bloom or kind of like blend outwards. And then I'll grab my second color and then do the same thing, just drop a couple of drops here and there, kind of connect it up with the bluey shade. And then I'm gonna use 99% alcohol and a small pointed brush. I'm gonna dip my brush in the alcohol, wipe some of that excess away. Then I'm just going to use the end of the brush and kind of blend out the edges of the alcohol ink. With this, I just want to really soften up the line so there's not like little circles everywhere. And I'm just kind of like dragging some of those areas to create little, little veins, I guess. You know, like the marble veins. And as I'm doing this, I'll just like wipe the excess off my brush and then dip it in alcohol again. And then just draw little lines, making sure that it looks natural, if you know what I mean. Like we don't want super straight lines. We don't want lines that go straight down or across. You want a little bit of like a jagged edge or waviness to them. So I'll just continue blending and just working that color around. Don't worry if it smudges out too much. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's really random and it's kind of like up to you. Just, just go with the flow. Now, if any stage you feel like you need a little bit more color or you've wiped away too much, you can just add on some more alcohol ink on top. The trick is to create like light areas and dark areas. That way it has more dimension. And as you're just using the brush, you can kind of just drag to create these little veins. All right, so I'm liking how that's looking. It's looking kind of smoky. There's some like dark areas. Now I'm gonna go in with my third color. This one is like, I guess like a navy blue, almost kind of black. It's very dark, but it has some gold pigments in it. So I'm just dropping a little bit here and there. And then again, I'm gonna use my brush to just blend this area out. And as I blend, I think you'll be able to see a little bit more gold to it. Now I'm going to add some gold flakes to it. This is a great trick to kind of like cover up any mistakes. Maybe some areas is too dark or maybe too light or it's feeling a little bit empty. You can just go ahead and add some gold flakes to it. Just use it to hide any boo-boos. Remember to seal it with top coat and cure. Oh la la, check out this marble nail. Doesn't it look like it was super hard to create, but we just kind of like swirled our brushes around and let the marble ink do its thing. The next design is my favorite way to do realistic looking marble nail art. So here I've already got my base on. I've painted on like a pinky nude color, which is fully cured. And now I didn't wipe off that sticky layer. We need that because I'm going to apply like a chrome Aurora powder on top. This one is from a Japanese brand called Clue. Clue? Clue? I don't know. 
So I'm just gonna rub that along the center ish of the nail, kind of just like randomly. I don't want it all over. Then I'll apply base coat to seal that in. Next, I'm going to grab this milky white gel from Kiara Sky and I'm just using my brush to randomly draw some wavy thick lines or patches. So I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to grab my white art gel and a liner brush and then I'm going to start drawing these like white veins. So you guys can see I'm kind of like wiggling my brush as I do this. You know, if you have trouble, you can Google an image of like some marble or just copy what I'm doing. Literally just, just follow the lines that I'm doing. Then I'm going to grab a clean brush and I'm using the corner of this brush to smudge out one side of those veins. You want to keep one side clean and one side smudged because that's going to give you that sort of like dimension. Just, just look at what I'm doing. If you, I'm just literally just smudging out one side. I'm just kind of bringing that, fading it out. Then I'll flash cure that. Next, I'm going to paint on a little bit of like a deeper pink gel. This one's like kind of translucent. So I'm just, again, painting on some like wavy lines or patches and it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry if it covers any of those veins we added on before. This is going to add more dimension. So basically I'm kind of like layering on these colors to give it depth. And then I'm going to cure that. Now I'm going to add on some Aurora flakes and because the gel should be a little bit sticky after we cure it, the flakes should just stick pretty easily on the surface. After that, I'm going to paint on some more veins. I'm also going to do some little mini ones so it looks a bit more natural. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink gel just on certain areas to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, just darken up some areas just ever so slightly. I'll seal that with top coat and cure. And voila! Isn't this just so beautiful? It's like so pretty and realistic. Kind of looks like, what is it, like those rose quartz. By the way guys, in case you didn't realize by now, I'm working on a fake finger. So it may look a little bit creepy, but it's just one of those fingers for nail artists to practice on, though it does look realistic. So let me know if I kind of fooled you. Does it look real? Okay, so if you like that previous design, I think you'll like this one too. It's kind of like similar, but it's another way to achieve the realistic marble look. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of base gel first, but I'm not going to cure it this time. Instead, I'm going to use these three colors and I'm just going to pop a little bit of each really randomly on top. Then I'll use my gel brush to blend the edges together, but it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just kind of like spreading those colors around. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white. Again, just really randomly. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. It's kind of like makeup. We don't want to see exactly where each color stops or starts. So just blend, 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 tap, tap, tap with the brush. And then I'll cure that. Once we have our base, I'm going to use my white art gel and then start drawing on the veins. I find that if I kind of like shake as I do this, it gives me a more natural line, if you know what I mean. And then just like the previous design, I'm going to just blur and smudge out one side of the line. I'm liking how that's looking, but the top of the nail or where like the cuticle is near there, it's looking a little bit empty to me. So with whatever is left on my brush from that blending, I'm just going to kind of create like a small patch up top and maybe some like little veins. Okay, time to make it a little bit more fancy and add some Aurora Flakes. This is going to stick to the gel that we've cured, so just tap, 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 tap. 
This is a really good way to make your marble art look a little bit more pro, add some dimension to it, make it pretty and sparkly. I'm going to apply top coat and then cure. I could leave it at that, but to me, I feel like it needs a little bit more, more tiny veins, more little mini veins. You feel me? So I'm just using my liner brush and just kind of like wiggling that brush around, creating some thin lines that connect up with the main vein. Oh, the main vein. That sounds, that's kind of catchy. I'm going to cure that, apply top coat, and now I want to add an extra gold vein that's a little bit 3D. So I'm going to have to buff the surface after I apply and cure the top coat. I'll just give that a quick wipe with some gel cleanser and then just grab my buffer and just lightly buff the surface so that it's not sticky, it's quite mattified. That way when we apply any gold powder on top, it's not going to stick outside the areas that we want it to. So now I'm gonna grab my white art liner and then just draw a random line across the nail. And I'm making this line a little bit thicker because I want the line to be a little bit raised and more prominent than the veins. I'm gonna cure that under the light and that should leave a little sticky layer. So I'm gonna grab my gold powder now and use my little cheapy eyeshadow applicator thing in the jiggy and just rub some of that powder onto the line and it should adhere. You can see that the gold powder is not sticking anywhere else because we buffed the nail surface. So that's a really good trick for you guys. So once the gold line is covered, I'm just going to lightly dust away any excess using a soft brush and then we can seal all that in with top coat. Okay, is that not like the best looking marble nail art you've seen? Look how pretty that is. That is some pro looking nail art right there. That's all the designs I have for you guys today. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want to see different variations of other designs, please let me know. I pretty much like attend all these nail classes in my spare time just so I can learn them and create better videos for you. Anyways, that's it from me guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my Instagram just for my nail account. It's Tina Creative underscore studio. Anyways, my loves, I will speak to you guys next time. Bye. Ba -dum -bum, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ba -dum -bum,